almost feel like sheet masks are like the false lashes of the mask world. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my February BoxyCharm box here for you guys. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've tried out everything in here except for one product. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews and my thoughts and opinions on these different products. So let's jump into it. So the theme this month is Rush to Relax. And it says from stilettos to slippers, get ready to work hard and rest easy, which I feel like totally describes me. <laughs> Cause I work a lot and I'm like, I feel like I'm a bee. Like I'm always like just buzzing around quickly because I'm always like trying to get to the point where I can just put on my slippers and rest. So I like that theme, rush to relax, that's fun. So first off there was this little pouch that had a face mask inside. This is the Shrey Miss Amazing Facial Mask. It's a full size and it's value of $12. It says an ultra hydrating mask to quench thirsty, ragged, and dull skin. This moisturizing mask is gentle enough for everyday use, yet tough enough for your supercharged life. So I went ahead and used it, and I did save the little, like, this is the little thing. I was very confused at first when I pulled this out. I almost feel like sheet masks are like the false lashes of the mask world. Let me know if you struggle with this, but for some reason, I had a really hard time getting a sheet mask on my face correctly. So when I took this out, I was like, what? Because it just, it, I was like, this is the thickest sheet mask I've ever used. But duh, it was just sitting on this little thing. See, I can't even get this figured out. But it was sitting on this little thing, so the sheet mask was on it. So I, I finally figured it out. And then the sheet mask was like stuck together, so I couldn't get it peeled apart. Anyway, I liked it. <laughs> That's really the moral of the story. Like, it felt very hydrating on my face. I feel like I woke up this morning and my skin looked really nice. So, I did really like this mask. I mean, $12 for a sheet mask. I assume that's the price for one. That's that's kind of pricey. Um, but I did really like it. So, feedback on this. I think it's really good. Let me know if you struggle with sheet masks getting them on your face correctly. Then I got this Freeze 24 Anti-Aging Eye Serum and it says it's a sample size. It says $58. So I assume the full size is $58 and not this size. But it says say goodbye to fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness with this groundbreaking lightweight eye serum. It says apply a pea size amount under and around the eye area, allow two to three minutes for product to absorb before adding moisturizer or makeup. So I've used this and I do really like this. Um, it's just kind of like, again, it's one of those products, it's hard to like give a ton of feedback because you really have to use it like a longer period of time to know really how it works. But just initial like trying it, it's kind of like a clear gel based sort of a serum. Um, it absorbs nicely, it feels kind of like cooling. It's not like it has a cooling product, but because it's a gel sort of a feel, it feels a little bit cool on the on the under eyes and on the skin. Um, but yeah, I do like it. doesn't have any scent. Of course, I sniff all beauty products, but I didn't smell anything. Um, and it seems nice, but that's pricey. $58. Whoa. Surely that's not this size. That has to be the full size. I would think it's the full size. So this is the one product in the box I have not used yet because I wanted to be able to show it to you without it looking gross and disgusting. So this is the Spawn Gel You Have My Heart on a String and it's a full size and it's a value of $15. It says a heart-shaped body wash infused buffer enriched with hydrating olive oil and a blend of energizing and toning extracts. So that's nice. It says Use the soft side to cleanse and tone the skin and use the textured side in a gentle circular motion to exfoliate and stimulate circulation. So that's cool. I guess it has the two different sides that do the different things. It does have a scent, kind of like a floral scent, which sometimes floral scents can give me headaches, but it's not super strong. So it's really cute that it's in a heart shape too. So that's a fun little bath product in there. Then we've got the Ofra Banana Powder Godet. G-O-D-E-T, I don't know. It's a value of $12. It says this innovative new product can be used as an all-in-one face powder. So I use this on my under eyes a little bit. You know, super yellowy powders, I'm honestly not that big of a fan of for my skin tone, but I'm kind of more neutral toned. So 
These can tend to look a little bit strange on my skin, but for more olive complexions, this would be really nice. It's very nice and finely milled. Um, and I mean, banana powders are, are really, you're not gonna be able to really see that, are a really nice thing because they do help kind of cancel out that like purpley blue sort of tones of the under eyes. So it is nice for that, but again, it's not something that I will probably get a ton of use out of. So I'll probably stick it in my kit because it's a nice powder. It has a nice texture to it. I just don't use banana powders a ton, but I know a lot of people do. Then there's a perfume in here. This is the Real Tree for Her. It's a 10 milliliter travel sprayer and it's a value of $12.99 says a delightful fragrance with a scent of pomegranate, a hint of persimmon, and an exotic scent of orchids. So I tried this out. First off, the little like packaging of it is really cute because it's pink and it looks very girly. So I love the packaging on it and it smells really nice. Yeah, I really like this. I don't know how to describe it. Like. It is very fruity. It almost, it's not exactly like um, Viva La Juicy, but I feel like it's in that sort of family, which Viva La Juicy is one of my very fra favorite fragrances because it's very kind of like fruity and girly and just like a happy fragrance is how we would describe it. It's a happy fragrance. I feel like this is a happy fragrance and it's very girly too. I smell more fruit than orchids. So if you like kind of more fruity, sweet sort of scents, I think that you would like this. So I'm excited about this. And then lastly, my favorite thing in the box, this is the Beauty For Real Blush Glow Stick. It's a full size and it's a value of $24. It says a two-in-one blush and highlighter created to not only color and highlight, but also to provide anti-aging benefits. This cream to powder long wear formula delivers light reflecting benefits and glowing radiance, which ensures a smooth, beautiful, flawless finish. So I did use this today. I have something over it, but I really like this. Let me get into it. So this is in the shade Coral Crush and High Beam. So it's kind of like a two-sided sort of deal. So one side you have your blush kind of a product, which I'm wearing the blush today. Um, I'm not wearing the highlight, but I do have the blush on. And then I have something over it and then another highlight. So it's hard to really tell what this looks like, but I do have that on my face. And then the other side is a highlighter. Now this is more kind of like a, I don't know, bronzy sort of highlighter. I like the blush side better than the highlight. The highlight is kind of more peachy bronzy, so it's a little bit dark for my complexion, but I think this would work for a lot of people. So this is the blush, and then there is the highlight. So really pretty. Um, I did find that I needed to stipple this on my skin and uh, what I did is I ran my brush across the product and I kind of like had to squeeze the brush bristles together to then kind of like put it on there to get it on the brush because I was, I was struggling a little bit with application. So what I did is I squeezed my brush, got it on there, then I stippled it onto my face and that's what I found worked best for this. But I do really like the color and it smells good too. Yeah, it smells like MAC lipsticks. I almost put that on my lips. Yeah, it smells like vanilla, cupcakes. It's really nice, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's just like a nice, subtle, but really yummy vanilla scent. All right, guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I looked up this eye serum on Nordstrom's website because you can get it there. And the full size is $115 and it's 0.5 ounces. And this is 0.23 fluid ounces. So I guess this really is worth $58. So that is a pricey eye serum, but hopefully it does some good things. So I added up the value of my box and it's $133.99. So a really good box. I wouldn't say that this was my favorite one just because you guys know like lip products, eye products, cheek products, like color cosmetics. Those are my favorite things to get in subscription services, but it was still a good box. Like I really like that blush and highlighter little duo dealy. Um, it's nice to get a really expensive eye serum to try out. And then I do really like this perfume. I think it smells really yummy. So good box, just not my favorite. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I'll leave a link down below. It's just BoxyCharm.com. But I would love to know what your favorite thing was that you got in your box this month. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!